Hey everybody, welcome back to Nurse Love Addiction. Last time, oh, what happened last time? A whole not, a whole lot of nothing happened last time. This game really is kind of a slow burn, which, like I've stated before, kind of scares me because once I get comfortable, I know that's when the craziness is going to start. Because listen, what the hell happened to that healing hands thing that was brought up in like the first couple hours of gameplay? That seems like that's super important and it hasn't been talked about and I just, I just, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared, but I'm gonna try my best to keep my guard up as we go through and not let this game lull me into that false sense of security. I know that's what it's trying to do and you know what, it's kind of working. Well, let's see. Let's see if we've made any progress on deciding what we're going to do for the school festival. I think that's our upcoming, our upcoming ordeal at the moment. About a week passes when one day. Surprise party? So, Sakae no, asatte tanjoubi nanda. Oh, or we could be planning a birthday party because a surprise party. There's nothing wrong can go with that, right? I hope. Miss Itsuki tells me this in the hallway where I had run into her. I look at her blankly. For the past week, Miss Sakia and Miss Itsuki have seemed back to normal, and yet somehow not normal in their curtness towards each other's se and apologies, I completely messed that up. And yet somehow not normal, and that their curtness towards each other seemed to be continuing. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like a challenge, honestly. Because of those words, I hadn't been able to inquire much, and it feels like it's been a while since I last talked to Miss Itsuki. Although, actually, that shouldn't be the case. お祝いサプライズパーティーにそういうことあんたもグループがギスってるの嫌でしょそれはそうだけどなんでサプライズでやる必要があるのとうとうとダメ正面から言ったら心の準備されるじゃん今日ついて一気に本丸まで攻め込
Oh god, that doesn't sound suspicious. Again, I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you've thought this out well enough, Itsuki. What are these goods that you speak of? ケコ、責任重大じゃないですか。まあね。だから抜け子に頼むんだよ。他の子じゃなくて。うん。お、わかった。やるよ。if this will mean the two of them will be able to make up, then I have no qualms about helping out. On the night of her birthday, according to the weather report, it's due to rain at night. 30 minutes before Miss Sakia's birthday surprise. Oh my god, really? What? For what reason? Sakya has shown no interest in any of this cosplay stuff, and I'm guessing not in, like, Itsuki's doujin game, so... I, I'm a little... I'm, I'm, I was already pretty concerned. I'm even more concerned. <laughs> of course, now is, like, <laughs> having the time of her life. This is all she's wanted. Excited. I mean, though, we could have guessed that. I was bursting with excitement. I'm aghast. <laughs> Calm yourself now. Calm. Oh my god, the pictures, the flashes! Now dances circles around me, snapping pictures on her smartphone. <laughs> My face is bright red. How could it not be after displaying myself in this embarrassing cosplay in our dorm room in front of my younger sister? Wizard Nurse Prima. I don't know if I could see Asuka, like, giving attitude. Obediently, I make an awkward turn in Nao's direction. How did things end up like this? How else but through the machination machinations? I think that's a word. But through the machinations of that Miss Fancy Glasses. Apparently, this is also one element in the events to surprise Miss Sakia. Yes, that's something we need to work on, is turning people down. Because this is Miss Itsuki we're talking about. And I couldn't ask now to get me out of this either. Oh no, she's a, she's loving this. She she probably slipped Miss Itsuki the idea. This probably has nothing to do with Sakya. Now it's just like, hey Itsuki, what can I what can I bribe you with to convince my sister to dress in that adorable outfit again? Besides, as you can see, she's over the moon about this. In fact, I'm guessing she'd gladly side with Miss Itsuki. Dressed like this, I am to bring the birthday cake that Miss Itsuki has prepared to their room. <laughs> now ready to her smartphone in her hand, she reminds me of Miss Hiromi Sano. I don't know, when you were getting your picture at the event, you were kind of enjoying it, Asuka. Just a little bit. 
Knowing there's no way I can resist now in our current state of excitement, I resign myself to my fate. Seriously, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, Asuka looks so embarrassed, but now is. Look at this. This one's actually probably the greatest. They're all, they're all the now expressions are pretty, pretty good. <sighs> I thrust one of my arms high in the air and pose. seriousness in her voice. Uh, I do not want to know what those good dreams are now. Please, please don't say anymore. Now seems genuinely disappointed. My little sister, who do you think I am? I cast a glance towards the clock to make sure. Now quickly returns to her reliable younger sister mode and goes into the kitchen. I take the fancy cake box that she hands to me and head to our door. Now sends me off with a beaming smile. I'll go quickly and then quickly come back. Then I'll quickly change out of this. Wait. Okay, so you don't have to stay dressed the whole time. <laughs> Mm. All right, I see the logic now. Staying in this outfit for, for too long somehow seems dangerous for various reasons. My own mental state being one of them. I open the door and head into the hallway. Uh, oh no! <laughs> what is she doing in the dorm? She's a teacher, right? I assume she has private living quarters. Not. What are you doing, Osachi? Uh, or Ohara? I run into Miss Ohara. Huh? For a moment, I can't think properly. Why is Miss O'Hara here? Well, that was awfully convenient. Miss O'Hara stares as she looks me up and down, from the top of my head all the way down to my toes. Huh? I mean, this is, it would be one thing if it was another student, but it just had to be your teacher. Oh my god, she's in pajamas. Or she's being nice to us and she's like, I don't even want to know. Nice pajamas, I'm out. With my words still caught in my throat, Miss O'Hara scurries off. been so many misunderstandings between the two of you, Asuka. You just might as well chalk this up to the nature of this relationship. Try as I might to excuse myself, the words do not come out, and all I manage to do is open and close my mouth like a fish. Then I hear Miss O'Hara whispering quietly. <sighs> she was just being nice to us. Ugh. <laughs> she got the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> During the time I remain in a daze, Miss O'Hara disappears from sight. What the? To be fair, she's very good at that. 
she stalked us for a while and we did catch on and then we saw her running or I assume she was running she was in that tracksuit and uh, she slipped out of our of our grasp then too she's she's a sneaky one I'm crestfallen but there's no time to be wallowing in self-pity I need to go to their room <sighs> to be fair it couldn't get any worse knock on wood I mutter sulkily, com contemplating that the damage has already been done. I head towards the stairs. When I reach them, I realize. Oh, oh, middle. The rain is pouring outside. <laughs> I'm worried, yet I have no time to chase after her. I'll be late. I arrive in front of their room and gently place my hand on the doorknob. My heart is pounding in my chest. That's the plan. Oh my god. I don't, I don't even want to know. I go over the script in my head again that we had decided on. This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing, but it's too late to back down now. I just have to do it. I gently, gently turn the doorknob. The door isn't locked. I slowly open the door. Oh, yeah? oh no, here comes trouble. I can tell immediately that there's an odd tension in the air. The two of them are talking in low voices. Mitsuki, you you know? so not Ah, you know. I open the door all the way and timidly step inside. The two show no sign of having noticed me. They stand in the middle of the room facing each other. So, Miss Sakia's voice. <sighs> Even as Miss Itsuki speaks, Misakia raises her hand. Slap! A sharp sound rings throughout the room as Misakia slaps Misitsuki on the cheek. I'm stunned. A combination of shock and confusion fills my head and courses through me, leaving me unable to move. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Slap! Miss Sakia slaps her again! My body trembles, causing the cake box I'm holding to fall from my grasp. There's a nasty squishing sound. <laughs> Hearing this, Miss Sakia notices me and looks in my direction. Asuka. Her eyes are round with surprise, but she quickly returns her gaze to Miss Itsuki. Miss Itsuki doesn't even glance towards me. Maybe she had known I was there, or I was here. <laughs> She sounds calm, yet unyielding. Those words were not directed towards me. Miss Itsuki also answers indifferently and turns towards the doorway, where I'm standing. Ignoring me, she walks past. Then, without turning around, still facing the door, Miss Itsuki says, Miss Sakya also does not look towards Miss Itsuki. She says the words facing side on to me. Behind me, I hear the sound of the door opening and then closing. My head is still filled with confusion. My shock has abated, leaving only the confusion. I don't understand what's going on. Sakya san. I call out to her, but Misakia does not respond. I 
Oh no. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, hold on. I mean, I feel like I feel like the obvious thing is to stay in the room. But then again, like, I don't know. Sakya might not want me to stick around, depending it seems like her fight with Itsuki is pretty serious. And it's still it's still like it's causing a lot of problems. So part of me thinks I should just leave. But if I leave, I'm going after Itsuki. And to be fair, I don't really care about her side of the story. I'm not gonna lie, I'm biased. So uh, let's chance it. I hope this doesn't ruin my, my future. But uh, here we go. Miss Sakia standing in the middle of the room. She wears her usual expression, but somehow she seems to be in deep pain. I cannot seem to move. Asuka. She says, seeing me in my cosplay outfit. Miss Sakya's eyes turn towards the crumbled cake box at my feet. Mm, that sounds romantic. Oh, she's gonna make us go anyways. <laughs> Miss Sakia's tone suddenly changes, and it's all I can do to keep up. Where, where is she going, though? Do we know? I guess she wouldn't have any reason to stick around the dorm, though, if Sakia kicked her out of their room. Oh, that's a strange thing to say. The I don't think I can move anymore part. There's a sadness in her voice that causes my chest to tighten. Nodding, I run out of the room. Behind me, I hear a small whisper. Oh, yes. I'm glad we stayed. I'm glad we stayed. Misakia's voice, nearly on the verge of tears, reaches me. Oh, I still want to know what the hell they were fighting about, though. The rain has begun to fall harder. Miss Itsuki has just begun walking away from the dorm without an umbrella in the rain. Leave, Miss Sakya had told her. Hmm? Oh, yeah, how ex I'd be pissed if I was Itsuki because I bet you that cosplay outfit ain't cheap. And now you're ruined. We're standing in the rain getting it drenched. Miss Sakia presses her slap cheek with one hand and laughs. Miss Itsuki appears to be her usual nonchalant self. Is she trying to evade my question? Would we be surprised? Well, I won't let her. Sakuya-san, What had happened between the two of them? Sakuya, 
もともと出ていくなら私って思ってたんだえだからこれでいいんだよ上場の結果 Oh stop with your deflecting your deflection techniques you do not need to touch it まあ力通うには遠いけど私はバイクあるしっていうか Miss Itsuki suddenly changes her tone まあやっぱ寮でプリマの格好変だね笑える誰がさせてんだ I involuntarily raise my voice 大原先生にも見られちゃったし Yeah, in the end, nothing good came of this night I mean, truly Well, actually, that could be debated I feel like we helped Saki a little bit Just by staying ダメだダメだはぐらかされるとこだった Right? Stop letting her manipulate you. My shoulders shake as I take deep breaths. So, j a n a k t e Nani got the no, Tarino, I did. Go, Maka, s o r t o k o That's so great. Miss Itsuki clicks her tongue with obvious annoyance. I may belong to the jellyfish club, but I'm not that easily manipulated. We're making steps in progress, but、uh, you kind of are that easily manipulated. I gaze long and hard at Miss Itsuki. I doubt I have Miss Sakia's impact, but I glare at her with all my might. But far from feeling pressured, Miss Itsuki laughs with amusement. Miss Itsuki's words remind me. It had been on our way back from Comic March. Once again, didn't really give us any information. I doubt that's what you were originally fighting about. Ah,、oh, goddamn it, Itsuki. You're infuriating. Miss Itsuki turns around and dashes off into the rain, giving me no chance to stop her. Itsuki san? I stand there in a daze. My Prima costume is completely crumpled and drenched, with the rain even soaking into my underwear beneath. I stand there until Worry now comes out to look for me. I'm just like I was always warned. I caught a cold. The next morning, my temperature is 37.2 degrees. Are you kidding me? This is exactly what Nao wants. She likes it when we're a burden on her. Well, because we're not really a burden in her perspective, but. I'm completely an old woman, though. Now shuts down my weak protests and leaves. 
left alone in our room, I let out a sigh. <laughs> if only that's how it worked. I mutter from inside my blankets. The room is quiet. Now that I think about it, it's extremely rare for me to be alone in our room without an owl here. Silence. And so, I end up thinking about unnecessary things, like about Misakiya and Misitsuki. Well-bred girls, distinguished and beautiful, and lovers. Even now, remembering that kiss between them makes me blush. I was the one that started developing feelings for her. Anyway, Sakya, she had someone she used to love. No wonder she turned me down. Oh, I see. But she's gotten over it, and now she tells me that she has feelings for me. Selfish, violent, and with a terrible personality. The most annoying damn girl there ever was. I told her to go back to her. Well, she said she had no interest in doing that. I see. All right, then you know what I'll do next. I love you, Sakya. I love you, too. Both of them had sounded earnest, at least to my ears. That's why it makes it all the more bizarre. It's my own fault for overthinking things. I'm not good at working difficult problems out. My consciousness is slowly sucked into sleepiness. I close my eyes and my vision darkens. I fall asleep. Just before I do, behind the darkness of my eyelids, I seem to catch a glimpse of a small star, a far, somehow nostalgic, tiny light. <laughs> I totally forgot that that happened when she said that. I remember the first time I met the two of them. I hear the sound of the door opening. My senses vaguely return to me. The sound of footsteps entering the room. I sit up and look at the clock. Now asks me, perhaps due to having spent most of the morning deep in sleep, I feel a lot better. Now touches my forehead. Wait, I thought we had a cold. Oh, whatever. Oh, right, but we did have a temperature, too. It seemed like that was the first thing Asuka said. Anyways, in response to Nao's words, my stomach growls. Now rocks her brain. Ah, good question. I'd given now a simple explanation of what had happened yesterday, how the makeup party plan had ended in failure. I hadn't told her about what Miss Itsuki had said to Miss Sakia, as I didn't know if it was my place to tell. Now says with a contemplative look on her face. Uh, 
最近そうだしねそっか二人の心配もいいけどお姉ちゃん今は自分の体ちゃんと治さなきゃダメだようんだよね I give her a nod. じゃあお昼休みが終わるまでに戻らなきゃだからパパッと用意しちゃうねありがとうなおちゃんいえいえおかゆの残り使って洋風おじやみたいな感じでいいかな牛乳はと Now enters the kitchen and then she say, says to me from the kitchen そうだお姉ちゃんいい学校終わったらさくやさんお見舞いに来るって言ってたよ What? Really? うん、分かった But what should I talk to her about? And it sounds like she probably wants something from us. Then, around the time that school finishes, from the afternoon feeling much better, I had been left with time to kill. So, still in my bed. I mean, that picture is pretty epic. I gaze at my rare photo of now. Just then, I hear the sound of the door clicking open. It's Nao's voice. I'm my surprise, I drop my smartphone on the floor. I hear the sound of Nao's footsteps as she enters the room. Entering the room, Nao's eyes fall on the smartphone lying on the floor. Uh oh. Picking up the smartphone, she examines the screen. Silence. This isn't good. Probably should have been studying, but you know, this is Oscar we're talking about. <laughs> now scares me. She scares me so hardcore, man. I can feel Now's wrath building like a storm. <laughs> At a moment of weakness, I cower in fear. Oh, thank God, Sakya, save, save me from the wrath of my sister. Now walks into the kitchen. Now, Karakita, he know no amide. But as to its kino seeking in there, come in aside. It's kino boom, what a scara yamaru. したことないよ。すっかりいいし。そう。ならよかったけれど。ああ、are See my desperation, Miss Sake gives me an exasperated look. 
Miss Saki appears to be her usual self. She shows no signs of being worried over what happened with Miss Itsuki. So, I feel an urge to ask her. Really, now he's still playing that game? Oh. And just like that, she shuts me down. あなた、立派な看護師になりたいのではないの? I'm also doing it for Yuki, who said, I think you'll make a wonderful nurse. Her words stab into my heart. Hearing my determination, Miss Sakia replies, Ah, uh, sweet. I feel like she was teasing us, but not, like, actually mad. For the first time, she laughs a little, then... Saying this, Miss Sakia turns towards the door. She didn't tell us enough. Miss Sakia must be talking about the reason behind their fight. Miss Itsuki's words. I told her to go back to her. Well, she said she had no interest in doing that. I thought I shouldn't be laughing. I shouldn't be laughing. But that is... Uh, <laughs> I'm sad. I'm scared. I am partly convinced. Miss Sakia turns towards me and laughs thinly. I'm impressed that she could actually call Miss Itsuki something like that. I guess that look, that's what comes with unshakable confidence. A shiver runs down my spine. Misakiya's hair blows softly as she turns her back to me. She says this elegantly and leaves, then as if to trade places. Oh, mm. Sakia, please stay longer. Sorry now. Now returns carrying a tray of teacups. Sakia, son, mm. I gaze at the door, which Miss Sakia has just gone through. In my mind, I repeat her words. Regardless of how she comes across, Itsuki can really be like a rodent. When I think of rodents, I think of animals like squirrels and hamsters. I doubt Miss Itsuki is quite so harmless. <laughs> I scratch my head. Now it looks at me blankly. The time from then until the school festival is a blur. After all, we have classes and homework as well. Miss Itsuki hasn't returned to the dorm after leaving and commutes to school from her home. However, the two slowly seem to be returning to how they were together before. <laughs> 
Oh. I mean, get, we got a little information on the conflict. And this one, I'm going to cut a little short because it seems like a good stopping point. We'll continue with the school festival in the next video. <sighs> Anyways. Well, what could possibly go wrong at the school festival? Uh, join me again to find out.